Hi guys. Oh, what's this on my shoulder, you asked? Oh, this is the result of uh, tons of anxiety and trying to get a cheap massage. Uh, let me explain. This is a heating pad. Uh, as many of you know, uh, well, my friends know, I have a persistent knot in my left shoulder. I've been getting massages as often as I can afford for about eight years uh, because the knot it never really fully goes away and uh, it just keeps tensing back up, especially in times of stress and, and anxiety, which you've noticed by my videos <laughs> probably that I have a lot of anxiety as of late. Um, so I started having some really bad pain and, and uh, loss of range of motion uh, because of the, the knot in my shoulder. Uh, Two days ago, I found a place that does an hour-long massage for $28. How? What? How is that magic? Wow! And it's a half an hour of a foot and leg massage and then a half an hour of back, neck, and shoulder massage. So I get there, and uh, the only person who speaks English is the receptionist. Uh, all of the massage therapists are Asian and they don't speak English. Uh, they take me back to this wide open room. It's, it's not like a private room. It's a bunch of people all getting massaged at the same time in this open room. And I put my feet in the soaky tub and my guy puts a blanket over me and a thing over my eyes and, you know, starts like rubbing my face and and all that while my feet soak, and then he gives me the foot massage, which was nice. And then, uh, you know, still fully clothed, by the way, it's a fully clothed uh, massage, which became evident as soon as I realized that this was an open room. Uh, so then uh, he tells me to turn over by doing this because he didn't speak English. So I, I turned over, he started uh, rubbing my back and it was, and my shoulders, and it was. It was good for about a minute and a half until he discovered the knot. At which point he put his elbow and his forearm into my shoulder and continuously rubbed against the knot, putting all of his weight into it for a good like five, ten minutes while I was completely tense and, and like, ah, um, then he did it to the other shoulder but the knot on this side isn't nearly as bad, so it didn't hurt as bad. Uh, and he just kept coming back. Oh, it resulted in me having some slight discoloration, also known as bruising, uh, on my back. And uh, I'm, I was basically completely unable to, to move my arm at work uh, yesterday. So yesterday I called around and ended up spending almost twice as much uh, as I spent on this hour-long massage, almost twice as much on a half an hour massage with someone who actually knows what they were doing to try and undo what had been done to my shoulder. Uh, yeah, and it helped, it did. Uh, when I left the massage place yesterday, I was able to move my arm, I had no pain whatsoever, but you know, uh, then I went the rest of the day, and I slept, and I got up, and I was achy, and of course, just having a day where I'm not at work, and I don't have someplace to be until this evening, I get anxious about all the stuff I should be doing, and I'm not doing, so then the anxiety tenses me up, and uh, so now I'm doing ice, followed by heat, followed by ice, followed by heat, at some point, maybe even an Epsom salt bath, which not real fond of. I don't like bathtub, like laying in bathtubs and bath water. It to me just seems like soaking in a stew of your own filth. Um, but it was recommended by the massage guy. Um, the good massage guy. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so there's like an update right there. And um, if you if you're in Chicago and you're looking for a super cheap massage, do not, I repeat, do not go to a place called Fitfoot 
on Fullerton Avenue where they offer you $28 hour-long massages unless you like getting the crap kicked out of you for a full half an hour. The foot massage is nice, though. Bye.